whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart, and <laughs> it was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow. Okay. Why do you hope that you did a little damage? Just, I like humbling men. You like humbling men? Yeah. It's like my pastime. Your pastime is humbling men. Wow. That was brutal to listen to. With that first clip, I want to ask you an honest question, villagers. An honest question and answer me honestly. What happened to our society? Does women really hate men? Like, I just don't get it because in this video, we're going to understand this feminism, uh, you no, know, this feminist movement and what happened because I used to be uh, on TikTok until I saw how dark, how evil, how wicked it was I completely removed myself from those kind of platform but it's scary because I remember there was a a, 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 a a sector on TikTok where a bunch of feminists came together and, and just constantly bashing men teaching women how to cheat teaching women how to abuse their man teaching women how to manipulate their man and at the end of, at the end of the day if a man open up and and cry about it we we're being treated as oh you're 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 weakly and that's why we caved up that's why we box ourselves from the world and you know suicidal rate is skyrocketing who is it to blame that's a good question Welcome back, villagers, to another episode of Hugh Tran, the Insurance Man. In this video, we're gonna look at two more clips, and we're gonna have we have to understand it's time to love each other. I'm not sure how you're raised, but I was raised by a single mother who never taught me hate. She never talked about my not so good dad. She always teach me love everybody. Even if that person don't love you, love them anyways. They probably suffering about something that they're dealing with, their demons that they're trying to overcome. The last thing that you want to do is add more hatred and f make that person go crazy. Everybody's suffering. So if you decide to look down on somebody, we have to make sure our intention is to help them stand up. So that first video, she's wicked, she's evil. And all my men out there, if you're watching this video and you're suffering from what happened in your past relationship, something similar to the first lady we saw, please don't think that it applied to all women. That's not it. There are good women out there and there are horrible, wicked ones. Just because you taste one bad apple, it doesn't mean the rest of the apples are going to be awful. Give it a chance. Make mistakes. Learn from it. Better yourself. And give love. Real love. Genuine love. What do I mean? What do you mean, insurance man? Well, let's say you're a compassionate person. A loving person. Your mother, father taught you to love everybody. Even animals. Even reptiles. So you walk home one day. You saw a... A snake got caught in some kind of bar wire and he, he was dying knowing you you're a good person what do you do you ran to aid the snake you got the snake out of the bar wire the bar wire and the snake bit your finger the snake bit your finger after you provided aid for the snake your fingers bleeding a person came up to you and asked you, hey, why? Why did you save that snake? You reply, I saved that snake because I was taught compassion, love, and kindness. Just because the snake bit me, it doesn't change who I am as a person. You see the message there? Just because someone broke your heart, don't let that person change who you really are inside. Don't let that person 
change your character. Because someone break your heart and you change your character completely, they won that battle. So don't do that. One bad apple shouldn't prevent you from eating delicious apples from Florida. Bet on that. Take a look at this second video and it's going to make you even more mad. But we're here to talk about love, real love, from a man to a woman. Because in every dynasty, in every empire, every king, what do they have in common? A queen. The queen is the backbone of any empire, any strong figure in, 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 in the world. You can fact check me on that, but good luck. Behind every empire, there is a wonderful, loving, smart queen, and she's the backbone. Take a look at this video real quick. We'll chat a little bit after. Here we go. I want to give you girls a little bit more tips on how I manipulate men. And I told you girls, when you first meet a guy, listen to everything they're saying because you can use their strength and their weaknesses against them. So for example, if they're a businessman and they're constantly bragging about how good they are, their businesses are going, you can say, babe, I know that you're struggling a little bit and I'm not too sure if you can help me out, but A, B, and C, D, this is what I need. They are going to be triggered. Be, they're going to be like, wait, what do you mean, babe? I can help y'all. I'm not struggling financially. Like, what are you talking about? You are triggering emotion out of them to get something you want. Do you see where I'm coming? And you girls are like so scared. Y'all just have to be bold for this and make it sound very innocent. You do not want to offend him. We can do this with their baby voices. If he's a doctor, you can use... Um, his strengths against him like he's super smart you can say babe i know you're just a doctor but you know you're just a doctor but do you know anything about this he's gonna be like yeah just because i'm a doctor doesn't know doesn't mean i don't know he will give you full-on details on everything he'll probably even do research to tell you about this topic like use these guys strength or advantage to get what you want out of them for example if he used to say he used to have a really abusive dad you can call him later on in the relationship this is all fake you can make up a fake ass story and be like baby i just got off the phone with my dad and he was yelling at me and he told me like he's not paying my car insurance anymore and i just don't know what to do i don't know who to talk to do you have any advice now that he has that kind of connection with you and the dad relationship with his he is going to step up and he's going to be like well babe how much is it how much how much is it you know like are you okay yada yada it's all a big ass mind game i yeah, use their strengths against them their weaknesses against them and even when i was telling you girls like in the beginning just listen to everything they're saying so you have an idea on who you're really talking to who you, how the way you can talk to them because it's just like very like reverse psychology. Think about it. You tell somebody they're not going to do something. They're going to do something to prove to you that they can. Especially if they can do it. You know what I mean? And like remember I told you girls. Oh boost the fuck out of their ego. The reason why I tell you girls to do that. Is because I want you girls to break their ego. Before you ask for something. So let's say before you ask for a phone. Or something to get paid. You can be like babe. Back then did they have phones? So you can remind him that you're the prize and he's older than you. He's going to be like, oh, did you know, yeah, this is that. And then you can ask him for something because now he's reminded, oh, I'm, she's the pretty girl here. I'm the one, that, you know, she's the prize. Got to put these guys in check sometimes. Man, using men weakness and strength for your advantage. Whoever this lady is, dear Lord, I pray for her sins. Please forgive her because she's misguided. Please forgive her because chances are she grew up in a single family household. If she had a mom or dad, she wouldn't be doing this to honest men out there. Doctors, lawyers, insurance men. I'm kidding. I don't get used like this because I got no money. <laughs> I'll say that for another video. But that's brutal, man. Just because someone is a lawyer doesn't mean they're a bad person. Just because someone is a doctor, it doesn't mean they're a bad person. But this lady is a real definition of bad, nasty, wicked apple. So rotten on the inside, but pretend to be beautiful on the outside. And that's how they're able to 
manipulate good men. But men, remember, Hugh Chandler should have been talking to you. One bad apple, one bad snake. Don't let them ruin who you truly are. Compassionate, loving, kindness. The real queen is your backbone and she is waiting for you. So forget this crazy, materialistic, lunatic. And I'm not saying that you hate on women. I'm married to the best queen of all world. My wife. She was there when I had nothing. She was there when I'm completely broke. But she fed me. Words of encouragement. She guided me to a right direction. And she stood next to me. Not a care in the world. And you know what she told me? <laughs> you have a son. Be a good role model to him. Be the superhero that he sees in you. Obstacles that are in front of you. It's a test for you to get over it. Pass all these obstacles and you'll be a greater person, a better father, an awesome husband. Oh man, y'all don't know. When you find the right woman or the right man, they don't need money. They don't need stats. They don't need none of that stuff. They want your time, your commitment, and your love, compassion, and kindness. Oh shit. Insurance man done did it. I'm talking too much. I'm spitting too much facts. I told you this channel is about free thinkers. Truth seekers. I'm here to change the world one day at a time. And let me know in the comment section. Have you been in a relationship that drove you crazy where you changed your character? Your personality changed. You do things that you once upon did that make you happy. But because of a bad relationship... You change. And I hope watching this video will remind you of the kind, compassionate, uh, loving person you once upon a time were. Don't let a bad apple, a bad snake, or a HOE change who you really are, villagers. Don't. Because the king is on the other side of the fence. The queen is waiting for you at the dock for you to take her on a fun boating trip. Don't let these... I'm not sure I can say this word on, 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 uh, on YouTube. Don't let these H-O-E-S ruin your beautiful creative mind. I'm talking too much, but I have to because seeing these videos, it drove me crazy. And these... HOE have so many followers and they're feeding all these lies into the next generation. They are what they consider themselves good role models. Hell effing no. You ain't good role models. You're teaching young youth women to be the next HOE. And that's bad. That's brutal. And check, you know, take a look at this last video and and Turn the volume down low because this girl voice is annoying as F. Take a look. I don't care if you're broke as Take your mama's life savings. Take your life savings. Take your grandma's life savings and get me a rock. There is no price limit. Whatever the I pick out, you're buying. Pierre. Yes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the wedding ring? What's your price? For you? No, no, no. For me, yeah. For you? Um, like a thousand bucks. A thousand? Bye. Oh, my God. Lord, I pray to you again, please forgive all three of these H-O-E-S. -E they're committing sins, they don't know what they're talking about, and they've been heavily influenced by media. Thinking that they're the shit, but literally they are poo-poo. Take your grandma saving, your mama saving, buy me a big rock, me, 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 and zero. Zero mentions of building a family, raising a family, family value. What happened? If you are watching this channel and if you're a lady, comment. Do you believe all these three 
H O E S are representing women. If you are representing them, let me know what makes you become an H O E, and what makes you think it's okay to take advantage, manipulate good men, turning them from warm-hearted, kind-hearted into cold-hearted, don't give an f men. What happened? I'm just sharing you because when I saw this, it really made me upset, mad, and and and. And and sad, you know, really sad for the next generation, because of these crazy H O E S manipulating, teaching the, the 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 next generation how to use abuse men, and pretty soon you will see a more uptick in suicidal rate for men because us men we were told by society don't cry, it show weakness, don't vent to people. When you vent to people, they take advantage of you. Box it all in, cave it in, lock yourself in your room, and eventually we'll explode. Bullets in the head, jump to the ocean, because you don't want to live anymore. But men, if you're suffering out there, don't do that. You know why? Because I, Hugh Tran, the insurance man, care for you. I want to have a beer with you and talk about life. Sounds good, right? I hope this video is not too long for my villagers. I know I'm talking too much, but when it comes to topic like these, um, I get really into it, and, and and it's not fair. It's not fair that men have to go through all of this trauma, you know, unnecessary suicide, uh, and all because of these H O E S thinking that they're the shit when they're really poo poo. Let me know in the comment section, villagers, what you think about this content. Comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. The community is growing, but I need you, my villagers, to comment, like, and share because it will boost the algorithm. And let's go ahead and build this community together. Before I let you go, remember: take care of yourself, take care of your family, and most importantly, we have to take care of our health. Until next time.